Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. Comrade Philip is saying something very important about the reality of this disbursement this week. Let's just listen to him. Good morning, every one of us in Grand Community. Good morning. This is Comrade Philip coming away again this morning. I come away today uh, just to again let us know one or two things okay and i deliberately wait till after salah based on the promise the promise the grant community that after salah there is going to be disbursement inshallah the normal trick or the normal method they used to uh, go about this their information is they will not come directly but some of the foot soldiers will come out to bring this information out and everybody carries it. All is just to calm everybody, everybody down and still be waiting for nothing. Hmm. At this junction, I want to tell the CEOs and all the bundle heads that you should know that this postment is not near at all. Hmm. Disbursement is not near at all. That's serious. Somebody over there will say, What am I saying, Comrade Philip? I should shut up. Because some of us over there in the grand community will hate to hear the truth. Hmm. When they tell you the true state of the situation, you will say the person wants to kill people. I think at this moment is the time for us to face reality. It's not the time for us to try to cover truth or try to cover to color reality to suit us the way we want to see it and we remain there forever. It is better we face it now and get out of this darkness, of this dungeon of deception once and for all. Yeah. I'm telling us this today that this boss meant even the one our Grand Pressure Group promised us is not near hmm. at all. That is serious. If you listen to the recent V note of Jama Manshin, you will know. If you can read in between the line, you will know. Let's listen to the recent V notes of the Jama Manshin. Then after that, we'll continue with Comrade Philip. With the level of celebration you witnessed today, without your notice, in the grand community, eh? so what do you have to tell Nigerians? Do you think that they have come to the end of uh, the delay or the waiting on the disbursement of UAG grant? The glory of God, I do not think, I believe, that the end of the journey. And um, I want to tell Nigerians, that there is nothing important to me. I don't want to be over exaggerated. If not, I will have saved my life. Nothing is as important to me now as I breathe, I think of it. Every point I breathe, I think of it. And all my wishes, all my desire and prayers is to see that this thing is fulfilled, which is this gospel. And by the glory of God, God has answered our prayer. Now we are praying as we resume back to work, that God should start celebrating. Good evening, can I meet you? My name is Komi Yaku, I'm the executive president of all grant treasure groups of Nigeria. Okay, um, um, so why are we here? We thank uh, we give all glory to Almighty God who has made today another unique and uh, happy day for all of us. We are here today to celebrate life. To be honest with you, we are not informed, almost all of us, of what is going to happen today, including myself. But fortunately, this morning, I started receiving messages. Congratulations, we shot messages from different parts of this country. 
congratulating me, I remember that, wow, today is my birthday. As it takes, we have to celebrate. People organized this, and I was invited. And I thank Almighty God. And I thank all Nigerians for their messages and uh, best wishes to me. In fact, I don't see myself walk away for this celebration. But the love that people have for me, I want to pray that God Almighty will reward everybody accordingly. How, how do you feel uh, when uh, the All Grand Pressure Group and the Grand Community at large celebrating you on different platforms without your notice? To, to be honest with you, I feel so amazed and I'm, I'm very happy for that. I, at times, you have to listen to what people say. Um, I'm not among those people that say they don't care. Me, I care. I always put my listening ear to what people say. If they criticize me, it's uh, a chance for me to improve. And if in any way I'm being uh, praised or uh, credited for something good, I will feel happy. Understand? So I really care for what people say, positively and negatively. So as it is today, I'm so happy and overwhelmed for people to be celebrating me. I never knew that I'm this uh, uh, good enough or important to people. But I really want to appreciate them and uh, be grateful to everybody that I find me worthy to be celebrated. Thank you so much. Okay, with this level of celebration in the grand uh, community, do you think that Nigeria has come to the end of waiting for disbursement? What do you what do you have to tell Nigerians? As so, guys, that uh, was the V note of the German machine that uh, Comrade Philip was making reference to. So let's go back to Comrade Philip now. Machine, you will know if you can read in between the lines. You will know that all Grand Pressure Group themselves don't have their grip over this disbursement stuff yet. They are still struggling with it. They are still at the point where they are still struggling on the level of 50-50. I said 50-50 because it's a, it's a game of chance. It may be possible and at the end of the day you still end up with it and you end up with stories again that is why i want to tell us today that you still waiting and be waiting and be hopeful for money one money is coming one disbursement is coming it's like somebody trying to deceive himself somebody trying to see himself in the dream getting money and you expect to wake up and have the money see himself in the dream getting money and you expect to wake up and have the money and you'll be dancing and be and be and be, and be, and be rejoicing because you see money in your dream that is self-deception we come to us and we introduce what we help us which is the press conference all the ceos most not all most ceos were fighting it most ceos were attacking us Bondu heads refuse to cooperate and if you want to be at this state, I assure you, you will be at that state for a very long time. It's not a cause. It's reality I'm telling us. We are telling us today that the only thing that can take us out of this, that will even help the money that all Grand Pressure Group is looking for us, is trying to get for us, is the press conference. We need to let the government know what is happening. The government don't know how far this disbursement, this grant stuff has damaged many people. Um, they don't know. And the press conference, we made them to know how urgent it is for them to fast track the process of this disbursement and bring it into our different accounts. That is what this press conference would do to us. But we are afraid because they were deceiving us, telling you that the press conference will stop it, will do this, will do that. That is just it. If truly the grant handlers are genuine, they don't supposed to have any problem with the press conference. 
it should be a conference that she should assist us to get the money on time to do and we get out of this problem once and for all there are ceos that are feeding on the situation they enjoying the way you are trying they feed on your sorrow they feed on all the predicament that befall you they feed on it and they are happy because it's bringing money into their pocket and you want to remain at that stage forever we come away to tell us we we'll continue to sensitize us until our eyes is open our eyes are open to know that what you thought would get to your hand within one week or two weeks is not this busment is not going to be closed the way all of us are carrying it or expect it the only thing that can help us now help you out of this is the press conference if you people refuse the press conference by the special grace of god god will find a way out but to be good that you people get it done you people the ceo cooperate together I know not all CEOs, but most CEOs, I believe it's not all the CEOs that have put their hands in one thing or the other. Even if you have put your hand in one thing or the other, you being part of the press conference is saying you 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 don't want to be part. It's not because you want to do it, but the situation, they lure you, the switch talk you into it. Therefore, you are taking a turn and you want to correct it. You are not going to be affected in any way as per the press conference. Therefore, I won't say more than this. All the grant handlers, right from Sam, Mama Supreme, Theophilus, Apostle Ken, uh, Osea, and others. These are the major grant handlers that has put this community into this problem. These are the major grand handlers and they are the one fighting the press conference heavily and they are deceiving they are using you the ceos the bundle heads to also be the tools to fight your own destiny to fight your own freedom that is what they are doing i pray that your eyes will open and support the press conference and let's get it done on time thank you so guys that is it see you on our next update Bye for now.